And now, a Channel 2 News special presentation, The State of the Budget. Here's your host, Steve McDonald. With a nearly $4 billion budget deficit facing the state and the regular legislative session coming to a close in three days, we wanted to take a moment to hear from all sides about the state of the budget. We'll start with the statement from the governor and then give the majority and minority each an opportunity to react. Later on in the hour, we're going to get some analysis from our panel of experts. You can weigh in as well on the discussion on our Facebook page via the hashtag AKBudget or by sending an email to talkbat at ktuu.com. Now let's hear from Governor Bill Walker. We asked for his take on the state of the budget. The governor's office provided us with the following video. Good evening, Alaskans. I am Governor Bill Walker. I'm addressing you tonight from Juneau during the closing days of the regular legislative session. I want to talk to you about where we are, what we need to do, and the exciting part, what we're going to do when we're done with this phase. I come from a building background, and I'm an ultimate optimist. I have a vision for Alaska that's very different than where we are right now, a vision where we're not worried about balancing the budget or what the price of oil is today. In Alaska, that is not tied to the roller coaster kind of economy we have seen so many times before. The good news is we have a plan to accomplish just that. When I came into office, the price of oil started dropping like a rock. A 51% drop in 81 days. It was unprecedented. In the last two years, Alaska has lost three quarters of our income. Two years ago, the deficit was $1.6 billion. Now, it's a $4 billion deficit. It's just not sustainable. You can't run a business this way, you can't run a family this way, and you certainly can't run a government this way. If we don't fix the problem now, we'll face much bigger problems in the coming years. Here are a few examples of what happens if we don't take care of this problem now. The permanent fund dividend will go to zero in less than four years. We will drain our savings accounts. Our bond rating will continue to drop. Investors will lose confidence in Alaska. During this time of fiscal uncertainty, the enemy is not the price of oil. It's not the government, and it's not the oil industry. The enemy is lack of a plan. We began working on a plan by bringing together hundreds of Alaskans in June of last year at the University of Alaska in Fairbanks to discuss the problem. We then reached out to thousands of Alaskans online and in town hall meetings all across the state. We took what we learned from Alaskans over those many months and began working on a plan. After months of fine tuning, we submitted the plan to the legislature during the first days of this session. Now the plan has three parts. One, spending reductions. Two, an annual sustainable draw from the permanent fund earnings. And three, additional revenues. First, we cut. Together with legislators, we cut more than a billion dollars from state spending since I took office. In fact, overall spending has fallen. Welcome back to our special report on the state of the budget. We've heard from Governor Bill Walker, and now we're giving the Republican majority in the legislature a chance to respond. Here's Senator Anna McKinnon. Good evening, fellow Alaskans. I'm Senator Anna McKinnon, and I want you all to know that the majority is acting now to address the state's $4 billion budget deficit. The governor laid out his proposal in December, and the legislature has spent the past three months considering his bills, our bills, and hybrid bills to reach agreement on a balanced budget for 2017. As we consider the legislation before us this session, we've tried to evaluate each bill in the terms of its impact on Alaskan jobs, Alaska's families, in Alaska's communities. You've heard the governor say that the enemy is the lack of a plan. We agree. Our plan this session was to make major structural changes in the way our state government operates so that we're not just cutting services, we're making them serve you better at a lower cost. Don't let the governor or anyone else scare you in thinking that we're not doing anything. It's just not true. During the past 87 days, we've restructured two of the most costly government services, Medicaid and corrections, in order to provide better health care and improved public safety at a lower cost. In addition, we've introduced a bill that would eliminate the money we spend on oil and gas tax credits 
in the Cook Inlet within two years, as well as a plan to restructure our investments so that we save smarter. These reforms were fundamental to our plan to improve government operations for a sustainable path forward. Contrary to what the governor said, these were hard decisions. Welcome back. We're continuing to focus on the state of the budget. Here's an opportunity for the minority members of the legislature to respond. Here's Senator Berta Gardner. Good evening. I'm Senator Berta Gardner. I'm the leader of the Alaska Senate Democrats, and I'm speaking tonight on behalf of my caucus and also on behalf of the Independent Democratic Coalition from the House. Due to low oil prices, our dependence on oil, and our failure to diversify our economy, Alaska is now faced with a daunting fiscal crisis that jeopardizes our economy and the well-being of our families. Let's be clear, we're sitting on the verge of a recession, threatening thousands of jobs. This last week of the regular legislative sessions, critical and difficult decisions are in order. Well before the start of the legislative session, Governor Walker courageously put forward a plan to fill our more than $4 billion budget gap. The governor's plan included some unpopular and highly risky items like cuts to state services, changing the permanent fund dividend, and new taxes. Our fiscal reality demanded that the governor step up, take the lead, and make some hard choices. It's now time for the Republican-led majorities in the House and Senate to recognize the fiscal reality and join us and the governor in making difficult decisions right now. That's why, at the beginning of the legislative session, we made two offers to our Republican colleagues. The first was to drop minority and majority labels, put aside partisanship, and join as a caucus of the whole. It would have allowed lawmakers from both sides of the aisle to work together with confidence to solve the $4 billion fiscal crisis. A unity legislature to go along with the unity ticket of Governor Walker and Lieutenant Governor Malott. Despite the that was Senator Berta Gardner of Anchorage. I want to point out that we offered both the majority and the minority five minutes. The minority went a little bit longer than that. We received their statement late in the day and we weren't able to adjust it, so we just wanted to point that out in the interest of fairness. So we've heard from the governor along with the majority and the minority sides of the legislature. Joining me tonight to talk about what was said in those addresses is, first of all, economist Gunnar Knapp. He is with the Institute of Social and Economic Research with the University of Alaska Anchorage and uh, Gunnar is uh, like I said he's an economist and he's been with us before on, on these types of programs. We also have Andrew Halcrow. Andrew is a longtime businessman here in Anchorage, lifelong Alaskan resident as well. He's former president of the Anchorage Chamber of Commerce and a former state legislator who has sat in those those hot seats from time to time. Also joining us from Juneau is our friend and colleague Austin Baird. Austin of course covers the legislature for us on a daily basis so he's got some great insight into what's happening in Juneau. We also are going to go to Austin in a little bit, too. He's going to tell us about an announcement that the governor made late this afternoon regarding the Legislative Information Office. There's Austin there. Austin will we'll come in and, uh, and talk to you just uh, in, in a few moments. We also want to introduce another very important member of our crew, and uh, he is Cameron McIntosh. He's with our web department. Cameron is going to be monitoring the social media side of things, so if you'd like to join the discussion, please comment on our Facebook page or use the hashtag AKBudget. You can also email, it us, email us at talkback at ktuu.com. Now, we don't have much time here on Channel 2. We want to delve into this issue, but we're going to switch over to ktuu.com for a live stream. So get your laptops out and uh, watch us over there on ktuu.com. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more right after this. You're watching our program, State of the Budget.